Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks to the forum organizer for the invitation to me uh, to share the topic today, uh, the smart port community and the trade logistic data infrastructure. My name is Frank Tong, the um, R&D director of LSCM. Uh, LSCM is under the guidance of ITC and uh, uh, we are working to contribute to the government initiative by TLB uh, for the Smart Port Community Platform Development Program. Okay, thank you. You could hear me just now, I don't need to repeat. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for um, the previous uh, inspiring talk by Dr. Tan. Uh, this talk is a lot more on the software and the uh, data technology for the application uh, among the port and the port community. Uh, it is the project of the uh, smart port in Hong Kong. So uh, first of all, let's just walk through a few examples. Uh, of the other ports uh, as for reference. Uh, first of all, of course, we have the uh, guests from uh, Hamburg, Port of Hamburg. So I pull out this one. Uh, the Port of Hamburg has been a port of global excellency in the history. Uh, so it is kind of like a model for Hong Kong port to learn from. Uh, Hamburg started very early her journey of uh, digitalization and smart port development already. And uh, of course, all the advanced technology uh, uh, nowadays, uh, even talking about, of course, the hot topic is the e-mobility and the renewal energy. And another port is the tourist port of Singapore, uh, which is a smarter and greener port uh, in the Singaporean port industry. So, of course, uh, they uh, focus a lot more on uh, AI, 5G automation for the port uh, operations and uh, nowadays zero emission solar and uh, smart system for vessel management and uh, e-government connections. The third one, closer to home, Hong Kong. I uh, want to draw this uh, reference from uh, the Mawan. Uh, Catherine Chow has been, I mean, uh, teaching me a lot on this. Thank you. <laughs> so it is a port operated by the China merchants. Mawan uh, also has a lot of modern technology of the smart port operation, which uh, Hong Kong can also take reference of. And the 5G, the crane control, the driverless AGV, and uh, low carbon and intelligent system blockchain, etc. So looking back to ourselves, compared with this world advanced ports, actually our ports in Hong Kong, in Kwai Chung, Kwai Ching, and uh, Hong Kong International Airport are not bad at all. And uh, as a matter of fact, it has been among all these ports uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, trying to adopt the new technology and the advanced uh, application of them. Hong Kong ports are world class, as I said. Uh, you also find the 5G remote crane control, AI, IoT, and uh, AGV, auto trucks, digital twin, and terminal operating system, advanced system over there and uh, also moving into the uh, ESG and the new energy. But however, Hong Kong also has her own uh, unique circum circumstances and uh, legacy issues as well. Uh, related to the ports, it is necessary to enable the interconnections of the stakeholders to be fully connected Within the, uh, with the ports and within the ports and within uh, the uh, local territory of logistic operations for the uh, new generation of digitalization and improvements. Uh, the airports, seaport, ocean liners, feeders, traders, forwarders, warehouse, and trucks. Uh, these, these, these operators, when data can run through uh, their systems efficiently, uh, then all this efficiency and productivity will, will be fostered. So we are looking at a connected port community platform uh, to be developed and being developed now. And uh, it is open to all stakeholders of this port community. 
uh, they share the information among the right parties of specific shipment, of course, from international shipping to the local transportation and cross-boundary. So it involves the technology of the uh, data uh, interconnection and exchange and also the safety and security of the data handling. And um, so we are trying to knit them together to a, a tight network of communication. And also, for, uh, the next step, uh, we are also looking at the value-add service, uh, something like finance, uh, maritime services, uh, legal services, et cetera. Uh, when this new application emerge and connected with the PCS, then this, all the stakeholder can leverage uh, this smart data on PCS and have these new services connected to them and serve them as a users. So this is the uh, objective and the direction of the uh, PCS uh, that we are trying to achieve. LSCM has been participating in this TLB's initiative of bringing up a PCS platform. And uh, this is kind of like a diagram of the concept that we are putting up uh, nowadays. Facing the port community users at the top layer over there, it is the PCS with the information for users to see through uh, their trade cargo shipping status from the global shipping, from the glo uh, global ports to the local warehouses. At the foundation, uh, which is the bottom layer over there, it is the smart infrastructure of data in secure and shareable data repository, uh, trusted with the blockchain management uh, methods that we are building. So we are we are laying, laying the foundation of the infrastructure for the uh, smart data handling and uh, services. And uh, starting with the uh, top layer, the uh, PCS, as an application example, to make use of the data for the middle layer, for the layer in the middle, which is the different enterprises that they can be connected together and using the data uh, from the repository and from the blockchains to carry out their daily operations such that when the cargo flowing through the port, through the logistic handling parties, all the stakeholders will be able to see their relevant part of the supply chain visibility. This is where we are nowadays. Uh, the project started last year in LSCM under TLB and ITC's guidance, and uh, we have managed to produce the intermediate results progressively uh, through the different releases that we, uh, uh, we deployed from last year, from 2023 year into the ninth release in 2024 now. What it has uh, in there is uh, when you log into the PCS, you can see your shipment track and trace visibility uh, over different scenarios. And these are the scenarios that we have uh, put up on the systems for the uh, port community users to uh, use nowadays. Uh, for instance, like the temperature sensitive river cargo information, uh, the container shipment import and export through Hong Kong, and the trucking information, the barging between Hong Kong and GBA ports. And uh, so-called case, so case 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B covering the import and export. And the uh, case three, and coming up, uh, we are working closely with Hong Kong International Airport Group because they have a smart cargo data system uh, developed in the process of development. And we will be working in progress with them to find a point of connections between Hong Kong International Airport's smart data and the, um, uh, uh, our PCS uh, data platform. Also, we have the marine department's data the data of the Hong Kong Harbor. Uh, we are uh, conducting research uh, on the AIS global analytics uh, technologies. So I will expect the PCS will be getting more and more richer and richer functions, uh, which are meaningful and useful to the port community. Now, these are the examples that uh, we, uh, I, I want to illustrate to you uh, what you will see what, uh, when, uh, when you log into the system to use the system. Uh, this chart illustrates what you see when you log into the system. You see your river container status, the temperature profile, like, and uh, 
because it is the uh, cold chain uh, uh, cargo, so you are very keen on the right temperature control of, uh, within the river container. You also see the trucking status, the route of uh, travel, of tra uh, transportation, the time, where and when. You also see the shipping, the ports, the customs, track and trace of the events and its time. So uh, on, the, on the window over there, which I will show you just now, you will see a, a, a tracking history, just like what you are buying a Taobao. You see that it is coming along uh, from the far places to Hong Kong. You also see the dashboard uh, of your own shipments uh, to remind you, to alert you, and also to help you with the uh, shipment management. Now, this is the uh, more detailed, uh, I mean, the view of the uh, tracking, uh, the global shipping, uh, shipping tracking. Uh, the cargo coming through Hong Kong uh, to, and import to the GBA. As an example, you will see the vessel, if you can read uh, the small prints on the screen over there, you can see the vessel depart departure from uh, Singapore, the hot box status, the vessel arriving Hong Kong, berthing, discharged, picked up, and so on and so forth. And you also see the customs clearance uh, status in here, which we, are put, uh, we put in the, uh, 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 the red uh, uh, rectangle box over there. And you can check, uh, track the uh, customs status, the cargo receiving, at the uh, warehouse when the cargo comes to the end of the journey. So from end to end, you can uh, follow the uh, status of your cargo, which is kind of like uh, the most wanted information of the uh, global uh, um, trade and logistics nowadays. And for this, I have to thank um, uh, the port, uh, the data services from the port. They uh, connect their data to us such that we can draw the data about, uh, from the port about their uh, cargo handling status. Now, expand it further. It is the case of a GBA export through Hong Kong. Uh, you can track the shipment from the GBA pickup, the empty container over there, cargo loading, and through the customs, cross the border to Hong Kong, and uh, to the uh, Kuiting uh, terminals. Uh, you can see the vessel departing and the uh, vessel coming to the destination port. So, um, according to the industry, uh, this helps them a lot, a lot for them to answer the inquiry from their uh, uh, shippers' users. This is the case of the uh, less than container, we call it uh, ping uh, loading, in which you, uh, your shipment is consolidated with the others and being shipped together in one single container. And uh, your house, bill of lading will be associated with the master bill of lading, and so your shipment uh, within the consolidated container can be tracked with uh, accuracy and possible. These are all good uh, because uh, basically you see that uh, for the sea uh, 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 born, for the sea born shipment, you have the import and export through Hong Kong. That is what we want to do. Uh, enhance the uh, compatibility of the local operator here, trying to draw the uh, uh, cargo traffic through Hong Kong. Now, that is the global uh, shipping. Now this is the local logistic we also cover because uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, trucking and uh, warehousing uh, companies uh, local in Hong Kong. The local logistic is normally carried out by uh, trucking, which are SMEs. So uh, they are the, uh, the uh, I mean, the, 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 the sectors which wants help the most. Normally, the trucking GPS, their pickup, delivery are professionally served by the fleet management service companies. But as a backup option, our PCS also provide a simple GPS mobile app. Uh, for the pickup and delivery transactions. So uh, if you take your uh, container to the warehouse, you hand over the warehouse, you need a transaction record. So this app will help the front-end staff to register the action onto the PCS platform easily, and then the data will become available. And at the back end, at the office at the back end, can easily see the timely status of the action of delivery uh, through the uh, desktop PC and uh, uh, for, their, for their daily operation. The office can see and 
check the completion of the transaction at the warehouse and also the empty return at the depot. So up to here, the PCS is able to provide the tracking data, uh, make them available to the um, different stakeholders from the shipping source point to the destination point. Additionally, because it is the, uh, uh, the port community uh, system, so other than just doing track and trace, this is now the, uh, we are getting into the stage of expanding uh, the functionalities and the service uh, through this PCS. If it is like a good platform to hand the services to the uh, user community. This is, this, this, this is the help from the marine department and uh, about the vessel and the barging in and out of Hong Kong Harbor. The marine department with their timely data uh, 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 feed to us, uh, we can see the ocean going vessels, their arrival and departure time, as well as the barges up and down the river into Hong Kong. Uh, this will be useful to the uh, value add services providers for operating on the, the vessel management and the financing business. In fact, we are exploring along this line to see if uh, the PCS will offer more uh, meaningful uh, value add services uh, uh, to the community. Then the next part, uh, another, uh, and, another uh, 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 global uh, vessel analytics uh, platform systems. This is uh, the joint research, our joint research with PolyU and Tsinghua University on the AIS data analytics. So uh, our PCS will provide analytics for the port connectivity, for the port stay time, and the port congestion status, which is useful data for uh, the shipping, for their port calling, planning, and the management operations as well. So uh, with, with a platform like this, we are uh, building it up and hope it will capture more interest and deliver more usage to the community. Then the next uh, slide is like uh, down to the uh, technology underneath the hood of uh, the system. This is about the uh, data handling in the consideration of uh, data security and safety because it has been always been asked by the user how we deal with the security and safety issues uh, of the data they handed to us. So uh, the, uh, we, we handle those data in different categories, like uh, uh, primarily we are looking, them, looking at them as the transactional data, when they hand over the uh, cargo from one hand to another, the operational data, uh, the movement, which meaning the regulatory data, the customs, and also the personal data and the uh, business confidential data, which are the highly uh, uh, demand on the secure security and privacy protection. And uh, we devised the blockchain methods and also the, not, uh, the regular database for fast handling method. And uh, we, we make sure that the right data will be given to the right person. And uh, we also enable the private data sharing uh, especially for those uh, business sensitive, like the uh, deal value and the sourcing partners and all these things. So uh, uh, we are working on this part and uh, we'll be protecting the data in a very secure manner. Okay, wrapping up now. Uh, luckily in the past years, uh, we have it has been a good effort and participation from the good people of the port community. So uh, that's why uh, the, port, the PCS development was possible over the last years. Uh, we have a lot of input and help from the community actually. The PCS uh, report the progress to the working group uh, which is comprised of the different sectors of the port community. You can see the list over there. We, uh, uh, from the government side, the, trans, uh, the Transport and Logistics Bureau, the Hong Kong Sea Alliance, One Port, and uh, Container Port Association, all the way to the uh, Logistic Association, to Sea Logistics Association, Chamber of, Com uh, Chamber of Logistics, Shipping Council, and also the uh, Feeder Association and the uh, uh, Shippers Council, Liner Association. So these are the, the main player uh, in the uh, community, in, in the field. 
So uh, with their support and with their uh, inputs, uh, we are able to uh, uh, work out something or, or, or steer to the right direction of this uh, platform. And I also want to highlight this Jing Chan Hao Yin. This project is done in the model of the government, industry, acad academics, and research are joining together. And truly a piece of work collectively, collectively from the community uh, all co cooperating together. Right now we are at this line and we are uh, getting, uh, progressing into the year 2024 to 2025. And uh, this table of uh, functions are set out in our roadmap. Uh, number one, the port uh, PCS system. Number two, cross boundary. Number three, air cargo. Number four, AIS vessel information. And number five, the news portal. So we managed to uh, have the basic uh, operating platform working right now. And uh, we are on the track of progress into the next year, uh, into this year. And finally, the basic thing is there, okay? Uh, it is working and, uh, and running. Uh, now, uh, coming on, uh, uh, it will, or we will want to illustrate, uh, is embracing the idea of open innovation. So meaning that uh, we invite a lot of participants to put their services on the platform uh, to extend their reach to, the, to our PCS users and offering their service to them. And the objective is to make the user community enjoy uh, more wider and uh, more useful uh, services from the community. So uh, it's not limited to, to this only. Uh, we are open for innovations, although we say that the payment, the financing, the ESG, and the legal, but uh, like an open innovation that we embraced and see how this platform will develop into a uh, very much used uh, uh, platform by the uh, industry. So th that is my talk today. I uh, hope it is interesting to you too. Uh, thank you very much.